everybody. We are here at Cedar Ridge Outdoor School doing a lesson on anadromous fish today. So before we get started, who at home thinks that they know what an anadromous fish is? That's right, it's like a salmon or a steelhead. So an anadromous fish, it's a big word for a pretty simple thing. It's basically a fish that starts its life in fresh water like this, goes out into the ocean, stays there for about two to four years, and then comes back to fresh water to spawn. So let's talk about steelhead first. Steelhead are a type of trout and they can go out to ocean and come back to fresh water for their entire lifespan. Now how steelhead are able to do this is they have a special superpower and the superpower is slime. Now that slime works like a glove and it protects the steelhead from fresh water. Now the reason that fresh water is so dangerous is because it can dissolve and soak into anything if you lay in it long enough. And if you've ever stayed in the tub too long and you got prune hands, you know what we're talking about. Salt water, on the other hand, doesn't do this because the salt does not allow the water to break through your pores as easily. Now all anadromous fish are able to grow this big full body glove, but only steelhead are able to lose it and grow it back, lose it, grow it back, lose it, grow it back. Now we're gonna talk about salmon. For salmon, this is a one trip deal. There's lots of different types of salmon. The big ones you might've heard of are sockeye, chinook, coho, but none of them can regrow that protective layer of slime. Now as a salmon goes out to sea, the closer it gets to salt water, it begins a process called smoltification. Now smoltification sounds like a big sciencey word again. Pretty simple, it just means that the salmon beats the tartar sauce out of itself. It jumps up out of the water and slaps back down on it. Jumps up, slaps back down. And every time it does that, it sheds off a little bit more of that slimy full body glove. So once the anadromous fish shed off or smolt off all of that slimy goodness, they're gonna spend about one to four years out in the ocean, living life, enjoying being a saltwater fish before they get the call to come back home. Now once the salmon feel mature enough, hormones flood their body and they return home to the exact same stream where they were hatched. Now how do anadromous fish find their way back home to the exact same stream where they were hatched when they've been as far away as Japan? There's a couple different theories. Some people think that they use their sense of smell and they smell their way home. Others think that there's little bits of metal in their nose that they can use as a compass with the Earth's magnetic field to find their way home. It might be a combination of the two. One thing's for sure, they're not asking Siri. So to recap, steelhead and salmon are both anadromous fish. Steelhead can go out to ocean and come back as many times in their lifetime. Salmon though, the one trip. Now here's the exciting part. When those fish come back to decompose or get eaten by predators, they can spread their nutrients as far as a couple miles away from the stream. And that is why anadromous fish are a very important part to Oregon's ecosystem.